good morning children how are you all hope you all are doing good so are you all ready for the maths class so why late let's get started before that have you all done your assignment hope you all have done it which was based on place value and face value right so in today's class what are you going to learn any guesses exactly i just give you time it's all about numbers only so before i start with the concept i have a number in my hand so i have already inserted commas according to which system of numeration the commas are placed here exactly it's according to indian system of numeration so are you all going to read along with me the name of this number that is 1 crore 22 lakh 11100 isn't it this is according to indian system of numeration so today what are we going to learn that is international system of numeration we are going to start with international system of numeration so in international system of numeration we have three periods in international system of numeration we have three periods one period then you have thousands period then you do have millions period yes so in international system of numeration you have three periods one period thousands period then millions period so in one period you have three places ones tens hundreds in one period you have three places ones tens hundreds similarly in thousands period you have thousands 10000 hundreds 100000 and in millions period in millions period you have million 10 million 100 million so in international system you have three periods in which you have three places in each period yes so you have three periods in each places three places in each period so this is what is international place value chart in one period one tens hundreds are the places thousands period thousands ten thousand hundred thousands millions period million ten million hundred million are the places yes so how to write the number or a numeral in international place value chart or an international system of numeration let's see i'll take an example writing the number names according to international system of numeration for that i take an example that is the digit here 4968572 i have not inserted commas so inserting commas plays an important role when you have to read a number or to write a number in words to separate the periods you must insert commas commas are used to separate the periods and it makes us read the given number commas make us makes us read the given number easily and write the given number in words easily so here to insert commas you should know the places right so you have the places here from right to left you start one tens hundreds thousand ten thousand hundred thousand then million according to the number so this is according to international system of numeration so i have inserted the commas also according to international system of numeration so here you have the number that is 4 million 
968,000, I'm sorry, 572. So this is what is the numeral you got. Yes. So let's take another example. Example 2, wherein the digits are 37590286. So this is a numeral. You have to write in words. For that, you must insert commas. How to insert commas? According to international system of numeration. So first, you should make a note of the places. Here you have ones, tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand, million and ten million. Now let's write the digit in their places. So you have the digit and you will insert commas to separate the periods here. And the number formed is 37 million. 590,286. Look at the spelling of 90 children. N I N E T Y. It's 90. Yes? Next, let's take another example. You have the numeral 20386059. So, to write this numeral according to international system, you must make a note of the places first. Here you have one, tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand, million, ten million, hundred million. Now let's get started by inserting commas to separate the period. Yes. So here you got the number that is 203,860,000. 593. So this is how you insert commas in the given numeral to separate the periods according to international system of numeration. Yes. So by this time you would have got a doubt. What's the difference between Indian system of numeration and international system of numeration? Isn't it? So let's see what's the difference between the Indian and the international system of numeration. So in Indian system of numeration, you have four periods. Ones period, thousands period, lakhs period, crores period. Yes, in Indian system of numeration. Now, in international system of numeration, you have ones period, thousands period and millions period and if you can see in this table you have the common places in both the systems and the common places are ones tens hundreds thousands ten thousands up to ten thousands in both the systems you have the same places after ten thousands in indian system you have lack in international system, you have 100,000. That means 1 lakh is equal to 100,000 according to international system. Yes, then you have 10 lakh in Indian system, wherein in international system you have 1 million. So 1 million is equal to 10 lakhs. Similarly, 1 crore in Indian system, 10 million. 1 crore is equal to 10 million in international system and 10 crore which is equal to 100 million according to international system yes so now which numeral system is followed here think you have the numeral here 7 comma 5 3 comma 1 8 comma 0 9 0 just observe the commas here Look at where the commas are placed, how the periods are separated. In Indian system, you have ones period, three places. And then thousands period, two places only. Wherein, in international system, you have ones period, three places. International system, you have thousands period also, three places. Isn't it? So, this number in thousands period, you can see only two places. Then you have lakhs period again two places. So, this numeral is 
according to Indian system of numeration. And what's the name of this numeral? Repeat along with me. 7 crore 53 lakh 18,090. Now, I give you another numeral. The same numeral, I just shifted the commas in the different places. Okay, so here you have 75, 318, 090. So think in which numeral is this, in which system is this numeral there? Like how is it, how is the commas inserted and how is it placed? You can see in ones place you have three places, ones period. Then in thousands period you have three places. So this is according to international system of numeration. And what's the name of this number here? 75,318,090. Again, I repeat the spelling of 90. It's 9T, N-I-N-E, T-Y. Yes. So, now let's take another example. That is 37489053. So, now I want you to write this numeral in words by inserting commas according to Indian system as well as international system of numeration. For that, commas plays a major role. Yes, so when you're inserting commas, you have to be very careful. When you have to insert commas according to Indian system, how you are separating the periods and according to international system also, how you are separating the periods is very important. So let's, Write this numeral in words according to Indian system first. So according to Indian system, you have one period, three places, then thousands period, two places, lakhs period, two places, and crores period, you have two places. Here I have only one digit. So what's the number name? Three crore, 74 lakh, 89,053. Now, according to international system, you have three places in ones period, three places in thousands period, and three places in millions period too. Yes, so here you have 37,489,053. So this is how you write a numeral according to Indian system as well as international system of numeration by inserting commas. Why do we insert commas? We insert commas to separate the periods and inserting commas helps us to read the numeral or the number easily and we can even write the number in words easily. Yes? Hope you all are clear with today's concept that is international system of numeration and today you are going to get the assignment based on international system of numeration um, you are going to do it on your own yes hope i'm clear children and if you are clear with the concept you will do it on your own and you'll make sure that you will do it by today itself right thank you